our nation, and indeed the world, faces an increasing threat from terrorists and rogue nations. Future threats may include attack from sophisticated and devastating ballistic missiles, increasingly available to those seeking to sow turmoil and devastation. And the high ground defense is the missile defense satellite. The Space Tracking and Surveillance System, STSS, being built by Northrop Grumman for the Missile Defense Agency, will be an integral part of the nation's layered ballistic missile defense system. STSS is designed to track missiles in the boost, mid-course, and terminal phases of their flight, providing critical mid-course discrimination and tracking capability. This enhanced coverage is possible because of STSS's unique combination of sensors and low Earth orbit, enabling both look down and above the horizon field of regards. Following comprehensive ground testing, designed to reduce risk and assess system level integration functionality and performance, the first block of STSS satellites, Block 06, will be launched in 2007. Their initial mission is to be part of the Missile Defense Agency's Block 2006 test bed, a system of systems designed to exercise the entire missile defense architecture. Ultimately, the system will be tested against actual short, medium, and long-range targets, including dedicated theater and strategic class missiles. As an integral part of MDA's test bed, STSS will be available to support all of the test bed's ground and flight tests, as well as the missile defense integration exercises, hardware in the loop testing, and the system integrated flight test against targets of opportunity. Test data from the initial satellites will be input into the command, control, battle management and communication element of the missile defense system, allowing a low risk assessment of how the entire system performs. Essentially, these first two STSS satellites expand the BMDS test bed into space and provide the proof of concept for key STSS functions, including processing and integrating data from multiple sensors and passing this data to early warning radars while providing information of missile location and warhead characterization to BMDS interceptors via the C2 BMC system. But the initial two demonstration satellites will not be limited to a testbed role. As part of the BMDS architecture, these satellites, through additional software upgrades, will provide a contingency operations capability to BMDS. These two satellites pave the way for a future operational constellation. This means that in an emergency event, such as a rogue missile launch against allies in Europe or Japan, STSS would be able to provide tracking and discrimination data to interceptors in the U.S. or to Aegis missile cruisers in the Mediterranean or off the coast of Japan to help defeat these missile attacks. As the STSS constellation grows to its envisioned full complement of spacecraft, employing a capabilities-based block upgrade acquisition approach, future blocks will deliver increased capabilities through additional satellites and ground station upgrades. Further technology upgrades will be inserted in a regime of spiral development as technology matures and is proven with the ultimate constellation size determined by BMDS requirements. STSS will enable BMDS to track missiles throughout all phases of their flight, discriminate between actual warheads and decoys, transmit data to other systems for use in queuing radars and provide intercept handovers, and provide data for interceptor hit-kill assessments. Ultimately, the STSS constellation will provide unparalleled global coverage, extending the high ground advantage that history confirms is key to victory for deployed U.S. and allied forces worldwide. STSS, providing critical detection and tracking capability to the ballistic missile defense system. <laughs>